Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Portion, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create a shockwave in After Effects. So I guess we'll just go. So first off, you want to just right click and make a new composition. And depends on what your intro size is. I'm doing 10, 1080 and 60 frame rate. So I'll do just do that. And then you can set the duration to 2. Okay. So press OK. So uh, now what we want to do is right click down here at comp and go to new and solid and make and take the color to black because we want a black solid and then what you want to do is go to effects and preset and search up form and yes this this plugin costs money but there's a lot of ways to get it for free so yeah so what you want to do first is literally just go on base form and change the base form to spare layered and this looks kind of weird right now but it will, will look greater okay so we're gonna start off with the keyframe that it zooms it out right so what you want to do is just keyframe all of this at zero actually just type zero and keyframe then you want to go to two seconds and take it up to about 2000, 2000. and on size C you want to take it to about half of that that is a hundred okay now what we want to do is make it kind of laggy well that's the that's how we're gonna make this cool so what you want to do is particle in X just type 700 on both of them okay not 800 but 700 then this will will look kind of weird and that's okay because we'll make this work okay so now you can go to like a fractal field you can go to and then you can change this place to 75 okay, that's really nice to set it up i usually do that this and then it looks really nice so yeah that's that and what you want to do next is go on just at the effect size and put that to 3 and an effect opacity put it to 45 so now it will look kind of good yeah it will look actually quite good you can set this down to like 25 if you want to and that looks actually much better so i'm gonna do that so now we have this nice shockwave so you can change, go here down to complexity I think it is just type how complex you want it to be so I think I want mine to be at 2 and also I think it's like one another yeah it's like F scale maybe okay yeah it's F scale if you take this down it will look a lot like smoother ed edges I want mine to be like at about uh, 7, that looks nice. So now we have like keyframes and all that shit, good stuff, it looks like a shockwave now. But as you might see there is not really a drop, it goes super slow out. So what I want to do now is go on the black solid and press U. And here there, there are about uh, six keyframes, I think it is, yeah. So you want to just drag a line 
of all the keyframes and press press F9 but I can't do that because I will just stop the recording you can just press F9 but I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna find where it is it's somewhere isn't it yeah it has to be no I have to click here right yeah okay so now you find easy ease that's what it's called and you get get these markers okay now what you want to do is just drag over all of this no I mean just go on X first and just press this graph editor then you press on this line and then you see the yellow bar down here you want to go on the dot and just drag it up to 2000 units there then you want to do the same on Y now that should look good but we also have to do this on the like size set so we're gonna just change that to a hundred units that's of course what we're gonna do and yeah that's kind of it so now I'm gonna pre-render this out you might have already seen this at the start of the video as I usually do so yeah I guess I'll just pre-render this out and I'll be back so now guys it's done rendering so let's preview this shit and as you see this looks super nice you can use and also you can add some effects to it so I it's effect that I really like and that is a s underscore warp vortex you can also use twirl I think but vortex is much easier to use as you see this looks kind of weird I did that wasn't what I meant to do but you can change this to about 12 that's the size I, I normally use then you can just change the inner radius about uh, there I guess and I don't like that this y you can s literally see this okay if you have this at zero you no know, you can't see it two no you will always see it okay so let's just put this at none or no no and uh, yeah this looks kind of weird it shouldn't look that weird although it doesn't look that weird if it render this out and then after that you go and put on the as water or vortex so that is what I suggest you guys doing and also you can add a little fade at the end here what I usually do because it's a little bit weird and it just pops out you just go and add a little fade like this so now this looks nice so now we can go into composition yeah that's right and go add to render queue and then just say where you want to save it and this is taking me a lot of time yeah there we go just save it as maybe like a shockwave and there you have a really you don't have to change that I guess so there you have a really nice so shockwave that you can use for your intros and be not really original but you can be self-made okay you don't have to use everything others using or this is quite mainstream but I mean like packs and that stuff so now we can use this instead of packs so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shockwave Tutorial. I don't know why I called it an episode. Although, this is going to be a tutorial season. So this, not season, I mean like tutorial. Fucking hell my English. Okay, this is going to be like a tutorial thing where I'm going to do like many tutorials. So it's going to be like a series. Yeah, tutorial series. Okay. So, I'll try to make as many tutorials, I guess. 
until I'm gone out of ideas. I'll make all the tutorials that there is to make, okay? So, that is nice, and you guys can be updated and get good at intros. So, bye.